everyone. I hope you're doing well. Can you all hear me? Anyone can. Uh, so I'm. Uh, my name is Joshi. I'm based out of India. Um, I am a strategy consultant and trainer with the Accessibility Lab. Uh, we're an organization that seeks to um, include people uh, with disabilities uh, by promoting uh, accessibility in the digital world. So yeah, we. Um, this slide. I can't see. Can Can someone show the slides? Uh, you can, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we work with organizations across the world, uh, across different sectors to help them with uh, cater to their accessibility needs. Um, and we do have, uh, we live in a world where one in seven people have a disability or develop a disability sometime later on in their lives. Um, we hope to make uh, web accessibility uh, perceptible to everyone, uh, where the content um, across the web interface, whether it's a page or an app, uh, and increase the functionality of it um, to help people, um, you know, eliminate the different obstacles that we all have and we all go through uh, while interacting, transmitting, and uh, processing and understanding information. Um, some of the benefits, um, and it often gets overlooked, but uh, one is it helps with uh, corporate social responsibility, uh, gives you a competitive advantage, um, helps you avoid legal risks if you are based out of um, countries um, in the US or in Europe where there is tighter regulation around this, um, helps you capture a good uh, market um, and also helps with SEO positioning, compatibility, and there are so many other aspects. Um, digital accessibility also provides um, an efficient and safe way uh, for people uh, who have different disabilities to uh, for education, long-term employment, everyday tasks and also, of course, contributes and introduces a new economy. Um, how do we, um, a lot of people ask us, and I'm talking to a lot of uh, open source advocates, how do we instill a culture of inclusion and accessibility, uh, which is what we do uh, with the Accessibility Lab. Um, our, the, I mean, this is uh, you know, our uh, primary audience, where we look at engaging with different stakeholders. It could be UI, UX designers, uh, developers, um, customer service teams, marketers, uh, directors, um, and, and many, many others. Uh, how do we do it? We uh, do awareness trainings. Uh, we do accessibility assessments, whether it's audits, uh, direct implementations, testing and monitoring. And we actually follow the web accessibility content accessibility guidelines uh, mentioned by the Web3 Consortium. Um, we're currently at version 2.1, 2.2 releases in May. So um, what we're also saying that we're, we're not doing anything new. Uh, it's always been there. We're just implementing. Um, and yeah, uh, you can reach out to me. Um, we do have, um, we offer pro bono services uh, for open source tool teams um, who anyone who has or has been working on enhancing security and privacy. So please uh, reach out to us um, if you are running an open source project, uh, irrespective of the geographical background, uh, we are happy uh, to help you and make your uh, tool and product more accessible. Thank you so much.